Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to show you the double angle identities by uh, a geometrical way. Um, I think it's easier if you know the geometric derivative. How does the sine 2x is equal to 2 sine a cos a, right? So to start off with, by the end of this video, I think um, you should be able to learn how to use uh, the set square. Well, you need a set square. You need a compass. And a uh, set square, compass, probably a ruler. That's for sure. I mean, you can use a compass and do that. Then, then you're quite set to go. I mean, you do not need really a ruler I mean, because you can use it for set square to draw a line. So, first thing first, um, if you're using a piece of paper, I would advise you to use A4 piece of paper like what I have here. I will want you to draw a circle. Okay, so here I will need to insert shape. It part is a partial of my screen I'm using. Um, in your line, I want you to draw a circle of six centimeter radius. Big enough. So I'm going to draw a 6 cm radius circle. I want you to actually draw a diameter across. For my case, it will be a random line. For your case, you know the center already because you are using the, the line, I mean the compass line just now. So I will just assume it to be here. Say for example, this is my origin for example. For your case, you should have a dot here so you know where is it. For me, I don't have it, so yeah. Then next, what happened is you have done okay. I will call this a baseline or we'll call diameter a baseline. Then I'm using this geometry to actually uh, prove the double angle identities. So how do I use the double angle? Um, how do I use this circle to prove the double angle identities of sine two x? Draw a chord from this end to the other end, right? So how far is it? As long as it is halfway further than from the radius of all the right hand side. So probably I draw, I think probably bigger. Is it bigger? I think here is good enough, right? So it's a random length, it doesn't really matter. Okay, then next I would label this point to be my A point. This is where I start, this is point A. This is my point B, right? Then next, I want you to use your set square to drop a perpendicular line from A down to this baseline. So this is time for you to use a set square. So you rest a set square here, the triangle, okay? The vertex point to here, you draw drop a perpendicular line from A. So I do not have a ruler. So I will take this and then drop a perpendicular line. Okay, it's not really perpendicular. Okay, now it's perpendicular. All right, so now I will have a vertical line. I would name this point to be A, B, D, D point. Okay, I will reserve C for some other purpose and reason. So now here, just now your, di your radius is actually six centimeter. But I do not want to name it 6, I want it to be 1. Okay, now in this diagram, this is my 1 for simplicity. So, therefore, it means that if I draw another line from here, OA, this point would be the radius as well. You draw a line from your origin, O, origin to A. This point has to be precise, okay? So that gives you an idea later. So this is one. Then I would expect this line here to be one as well, right? Well, if you really measure, it's supposed to be six because your circle, I asked you to use a six centimeter circle to draw a circle. It's big enough so that you can see it. Okay, done, right? Now, next. What I would do is I want to actually my task is to find out what is sine 
two x, isn't it? So that's why you stop by here. So let me use a ticker line. Now, if you notice here, this point and this point here, this line, what happened? They have the angle here, theta, for example, if the angle here is called theta, this is the middle through the center, the angle here will be 2 theta. Isn't it? The angle at the middle is twice the angle at here. Right? So because of this point here and this point here, they are from the same vertex, the angle at the middle is double of the one at the vertex. Still with me now? Right, now, um, next thing is, one thing for sure, this line is 90 degree because you use a set square just now to measure, draw a line here, so you know for sure this is 90 degree. And um, for this triangle, when you have this ODA, this A or A O D triangle, the length here, you have some problem already, isn't it? You thought that, oh, probably I can't find it. But in actual case scenario, the line here, this is actually one centimeter, I mean one unit, or I can't say it's one cm because it's always a six cm, but I would say one unit, okay, in this case. So what happened now is that the length of A, D, length, or use the line, is not a bar, I mean, it's just like a bar across it, it seems like a, an average, but it's not. But in this case, in uh, geometry, AD, this means the line, this AD line. This AD line, would you agree with me, if I want to find out what is this length, would you be able to find out what is this length? If you use a trigonometry in trigonometry, um, probably you have learned that opposite over hypotenuse, right? So it sounds familiar, isn't it? So let's say you have sine A D, let's say sine of this angle of two theta is it equal to A D length opposite over hypotenuse. So this is actually one unit. So therefore my A D length is actually sine to theta. This is the length sine to theta. The AD length sine to theta. And the same way is true if you want to find out the length for OD by using trigonometry, this OD length, this is adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. So in a long way, I mean, if you write down in a long method, so the OD length, if you want to find out this OD length, this is actually cos theta. It's OD, oh, my task here is to prove the cos 2 theta equals to what? So that's why I focus at 2 theta. Okay? And why is it 2 theta? Because of the circle, the angle in the middle is always double the angle at the side. Right? Now, this video is actually to prove the double angle identities. Okay? So that's why we have 2 theta. Why is it always 2 theta? So therefore, now my OD length is actually sine cos. 2 theta. So here, eventually, it's cos 2 theta. I know it's hard to accept the fact that why is it a cos 2 theta? It's just a number. Cos of 2 theta is a ratio of a number. So it's cos theta. It's a number. It's a length of number. All right. So now, here comes the last part. How do you prove it from there? Now, if you have this length, you have this length, can you see there's a triangle here? Let me highlight it for you. Um, let's say I use a yellow color, right, to highlight probably, yeah, 5 mm. There's a triangle here, isn't it? Can you see a triangle here? One, two, this is the hypotenuse, and three. In this 
in this in this uh, triangle right so there are now if I drop a perpendicular line that's where you need to use your set square if I draw a line from O to here what happened it's actually a bisector of AB so if I were to draw a line here to here is perpendicular if you were to be perpendicular to here you could tell me you could measure what's this length here AC and CB length is it halfway is it half length meaning this length and this length has to be the same now I can't do it here because I didn't draw this circle uh, geometrically but you are drawing it geometrically that's why um, you need to measure this length can you just measure AC and CB are they the same length you leave your comment down there tell me what's this length what's AC length and what's BC length if you manage to draw it accurately BC length and AC length has to be the same if that's the case therefore what is the BC length in this diagram you can see a triangle here so this is actually cos isn't it this is actually cos theta and if this is cos theta and they are the same therefore this length is also cos theta and if that's the case this triangle the whole length here is supposed to be 2 cos theta and you are there already isn't it do you see it now so if I were to have sine 2 theta or sine 2 x here sine 2 x or I use sine theta is actually so I scroll down okay hope you don't mind okay I'll probably do it down there so if I were to have sine theta if you look at a I look at a triangle of a b d sine theta is actually takes a ratio of sine 2 theta over 2 cos theta isn't it now because of this and there therefore sine 2 theta also sine theta plus theta or sine x plus x therefore sine 2 theta or sine x 2x is actually the denominator you bring it up you multiply 2 sine 2 cos theta therefore it's actually 2 cos theta sine theta this is one of those identity you have learned from trigonometry double angle identity is trigonometry right why is this sine 2 theta and this is well you may look at it again this is actually sine x plus x it's 2 cos x sine x and it's also equals to 2 sine x cos x it's actually the same the answer is the same whether vision is the front and back commutative rule is the same right I think that's all from me appreciate a thumbs up you may subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos